Good day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, sad day evening here in Australia. Market is up ever so slightly, 2.5%, up to nearly 2.2 trillion. So it is just bouncing around that kind of $2 trillion mark. It gets a little bit higher, uh, up to I think 2.2 something is as high as we've got. No, I think we got to 2.3. And then we drop down to just under uh, 2.1 I think. So again, a bit of a ranging thing at the moment. Not a whole lot happening, but again, any gain's a good gain. Bitcoin sitting around 48,000, which is nice. But look, it's been ranging between sort of 50,000 and 47-ish, 46,000 for a little while now. But gas price is very interesting, down a lot. Maybe that's just simply because it's the weekend. All right, looks pretty green, so not too bad there. So what's performed the best in the last 24 hours then? AVAX, there we go. Solana making another comeback, got down to like a... $148, $146 or something. Uh, Harmony, Thorchain, Phantom, Atom, ICP, Cake, Polygon, Celsius Network. There we go, making a move. Uh, we got a story about that. So, look, some nice gains there. Not too bad. What about losses then? Any losses? Well, there's always going to be losses. There we go. Shiba Inu had a bit of a pullback. Of course it would. It's had a bit of a pump. Same with Audius. Exactly the same thing. Uh, Sushi. I think there was a bit of a... This is Sushi X. But I think Sushi or one of its offside chains had a bit of a hack. Uh, and Perp. Look, very minimal uh, losses. They hardly anything. I mean, the highest one is 3% in the top 100. So let's jump over to the Bitcoin chart and see where we're at. More of the same. Just kind of chopping around. We're not going below the 42,000, which is nice. But we're not really kind of getting above that kind of $49,000, $50,000 mark. We breached up for a little while and now it's just a whole lot of sideways action. And we're waiting to see what happens. Now the stories uh, I'm going to show you, and there's only three stories I really wanted to look at, makes me think that we're probably going to see some downside action. There's a lot of FUD out there at the moment, the attack on crypto is continuing and look that's really what it is at the moment we are under attack uh, if you don't know it then <laughs> uh, let me tell you crypto is under attack and it's under attack from lack of regulation they're doing this on purpose they don't want to regulate it too fast they want everyone to get scared out for it to go as low as it possibly can so all the big end of town can buy up as much as they possibly can and here's the proof so number one CFTC is now investigating Binance over insider trading. Now, look, this could be true. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert. I haven't seen the evidence that they have. But Binance are not, as BitBoy would say, you know, in the financial cartel. And so they have been copying it uh, left, right, and center from every angle. But in all fairness, a lot of crypto places are kind of copying it at the moment. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. If it was true, then, you know, Whoever was doing it uh, at Binance absolutely needs to be uh, sorted out. But I mean, there is no regulation in crypto. So can you really even get done for insider trading on crypto? I'm not so sure. Uh, but again, we'll have to wait and see. And Binance, they've been copying it left, right and center from every place around the world. Uh, and it seems like uh, it, the hits just keep on coming. Now we go over to here. Celsius has now been hit by three different uh, sort of actions. At the moment, it's more just the, it's been brought to attention as opposed to actual actions being taken against them. But three states, so Alabama, Texas, and New Jersey, uh, have all come out and said that they believe Celsius has violated state security laws. Now, Celsius adamantly denies it, exactly like BlockFi has, but there are states that are coming out, and again, they're trying to slow this down. You know, again, I'm not going to offer you financial advice. I can't do that. But they're not going to kill crypto. They really aren't. They will do everything they can to hold it down, push it even lower. They absolutely will do that as for as long as they can and as low as they can to scare as many people as they can out. But eventually, it will be let run. They're not going to kill it. They just can't. It is the future. It is the way forward. But unfortunately, the sad truth is if governments try really hard, they can definitely crush this industry and keep it so no one wants to touch it and then let all the big players to get in. But they won't kill it because all the young people are getting into it and eventually they're going to come into power. Now, it could, take a, it could take, you know, 10, 15 years or something like that, but countries adopting it and things like that, it's just the fight's on. 
it's probably going to be quite a hard slog. I don't think we're going to, you know, have a chance to have any kind of crazy blow off top at the moment. Every time it looks like things are getting a little bit kind of, you know, juicy, more of this kind of stuff comes out. You know, Binance is being attacked. BlockFi is being attacked. Now Celsius is being attacked. Coinbase is being attacked. You name it. They're getting it from every sort of which way. And it is, it's troubling. Uh, I mean, it definitely has me worried. Uh, I'm not panic selling. And again, I probably would never really panic sell. I'll just hold. I've learned my lesson that uh, if you generally hold for long enough, you're probably going to be all right. Again, never financial advice, just my personal opinion, particularly Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to be all right. I don't think there's going to be too many issues there in regards of uh, yeah, just Bitcoin, really. Outside of that, all the other ones, you know, could be turned on its head at any time. And Bitcoin would probably be the only one that they want to really let run. But we'll have to wait and see. But it says down here, New Jersey is filing a cease and desist and Texas... Uh, is announcing it would hold a hearing in February. So this is not for months to determine if a cease and desist uh, should be ordered. Now, Celsius has 28 days to respond to the Alabama regulator and show cause why the regulator should not impose a cease and desist. So that's all it is at the moment, a cease and desist, and it's only in these states. And again, the real issue is the lack of regulation. Because we have none, there's no clear guidelines to follow. Uh, and Celsius, again, have said that they're happy to, you know, hit what it says here. We are disappointed these actions have been filed and wholeheartedly disagree with the allegations being made that Celsius has not complied with the law. We always have and we will continue to work with the regulators in the US and globally to operate in full compliance with the law. Given our commitment to regulatory adherence, we look forward to addressing this matter quickly. As of now, there are no charges in our services to any of our clients. We'll keep our community updated with any development. So this is where we're at. And lastly, big three credit agencies critique El Salvador's Bitcoin adoption. S&P Global warns of immediate negative implications. So again, crypto is absolutely under attack at the moment. Now, I can't tell you what to do and I wouldn't tell you what to do. You've got to work out for you. But I'm holding strong. I believe in crypto. I don't believe that anyone's going to try and completely... Well, there are people that if they could, the really old guard that would try to uh, completely ban it if they could, but even they're starting to catch up to the fact that that's what's going to get them voted out in the end. If they go ahead and do that, they won't last long and they will be seen as the ones that, again, stifled innovation and, again, likely you know, led to... I, yeah, I don't know how else to say it. The demise of nations. The dollar doesn't work. It hasn't worked for a long time. They're not going to be able to turn that around for small amounts of time. Maybe we go into deflation again, like BitBoy says, but that won't save the dollar. Crypto can save the dollar. I've said this before. Cryptocurrencies can save the dollar. You can have the dollar as something that you need people to use to transact, but then have it backed up by Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and things like that. That's how you save the dollar. The dollar by itself cannot be saved. It is just, it's inefficient. As soon as you've got money that uh, is owned by governments or owned by anyone really, it always gets abused. That's plain and simple. It always has. That will never change. We need money that nobody owns and Bitcoin's that. All right, pretty quick one tonight. Not going to take up too much more of your time. Again, we're waiting to see what the market does. And yeah, crypto is under attack. Me, I'm holding strong. I'm going to continue to buy and I just really have zero plans to sell. This could take months to years to sort itself out. And in that time, we could definitely see the prices go a whole lot lower. Sorry, we could see go a whole lot lower. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but it's definitely a possibility. You need to keep that in mind. You need to do what's right by you and what's uh, best uh, for your own financial needs. But mine is, I've bought and I'm just holding. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're all on that game train, and I'll see you next time.